Now, Beast, what is this I'm hearing about you injuring a citizen in Little Rodentia? I'm so sorry, officer. It was an accident. Is the Little Rodent going to be okay? Yeah, she's going to be fine thanks to your quick reflexes. Now, how did this happen? Well, it all started when I was in Little Rodentia to pick up some donuts. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to yet another update of Dizania Magia Kingdoms or Dylan Plays DMK, whatever you want to say. This is update number 49. There's a lot of really great content. This update, almost said episode. You guys know I switch between episode and update, whatever. But last update was kind of dull in terms of me just trying to start the event and stuff like that, checking leaderboards, checking progress. But we are going to do more of that in this video. But there's a lot of butts in there, huh? But, but, but. There's going to be a lot of juicy stuff here, so let's get started. I feel like I look kind of evil there, sorry. Um, our purchase is being processed, guys. That's right, Percy, who was staring at us the whole time last update, telling us basically, buy me, buy me, is now coming coming, and coming, coming into our kingdom. There he is, he's chasing Miko. Um, hopefully, if this event goes good, Miko's going to be the only character we don't have from the Pocahontas collection right now. I, I know that got kind cut kind of short. Hmm, <laughs> arf, arf. Ruff, his little music there, but I usually just pop things side quests and Percy to be Percy I usually just extend the music until they're done getting welcomed in or they have um, Dialogue so that one kind of got cut off before he got his dialogue So that's why it was shorter, but we did reach the first milestone, which is amazing. Oh My gosh guys, we got a new character. Who is it? You probably know from the thumbnail, but Guys, we did get Chip. I was super excited to get Chip. Any character, his was kind of short too, huh? His music. Any character or attraction I was going to be happy with. Now, I did, of course, really want Belle. Wow, everything here is new. If I were a kid, I'd run around and look at everything and talk to everyone and make as many friends as fast as I could. But I guess I'm a cup again, and it's harder to do all that fast when you don't have legs. You sort of have to hop around. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. He's so cute. I really do love him. Keep up cup. Side quest. Uh, we're going to send him to go exploring because I couldn't really read that. And him and his mom, Mrs. Potts, are now in my kingdom. Which is super, super, super cool. Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's see what's happening here. Okay, we got a one-stop apprentice shop out of this concession chest. I think this was just one I randomly found in the kingdom. Of course, I do already have that concession. Was hoping for a new one, but you know what? A concession is a concession. Everyone here is so friendly, even though they hadn't seen a talking cup before or anything. One of them asked whether I was, um, porcelain or stoneware. I didn't really get it. Oh, he's so cute! Quest complete. Keep up, Cup. Maybe that's something I should ask Mama about? Yes, go! I'm pretty sure she's in my kingdom. Yeah, she's right there. I was like, do I have her? Am I hallucinating? No, I do have her. So we have um, all of them. Goofy, Beast, and Percy now getting the Chris Crabs. I am number two cur currently on the leaderboard. It's not going to get me anything too special. But hey, it's always nice to be higher up on the leaderboard. You know what I'm saying? And I am in sixth on the um, Wandering Seas, which is great. That's fine. We can stay there. We just need that Earth Day stand. I want it so bad. And as you can see, again, everybody here is on for the Cursed Crabs. I did want to record all their animations. So this is Goofy with the Cursed Crab, just flapping his wings. I feel like that would make more sense with the birdcage, which is literally inside him right now. Mmm, that was just as delicious as I remember. And that music, what was that Tony was singing? That Ari... Aria? Nothing. Did, I don't know why I said it like that. Did you hear all that fancy strumming Joe was doing after? Hmm, well, we'll have to agree to disagree then. Of course, they may be very different kinds of music, but I think they go together nicely, don't you? Yes, yeah, just like you and Tramp are different, but you go together nicely. Quest complete. Bon appetito. I don't know. They do. Oh, you mean kind of like you and me. <laughs> they most definitely do. That's what I said, Tramp. And you do, do see it's a little more laggy here. That was a wonderful meal. Oh, but it's still a little early, isn't it? What do you have planned next? Oh, just a little stargazing in my favorite spot with my favorite lady, of course. How's that sound? Stargazing, that sounds great. Oh, Tramp, nothing could sound more perfect. And I think it was laggy. A Night to Remember Kingdom Quest. 
and let me finish because there was so much going on there was these seeds I have over a hundred characters in the kingdom here is a little comfy Pocahontas news article if you do want to read it to yourself but as I was saying my game was pretty laggy actually um, at this point when there was seeds wandering around there was crabs there was bird cages there was over a hundred characters um, it probably would have benefited if I had taken some of my characters and put them home that doesn't make sense and made them go home but I was really trying to um, collect my magic right now so I didn't feel comfortable doing that now this news article is gonna tell you how to get all this stuff that you need um, purple critter carriers you actually can get it with mrs. Potts and chip I must not have them leveled up high enough yet to get that uh, option but that was okay because I was doing fine with like Jesse and Zerg and Mike so that was pretty good for me I love that the um, time to get the uh, nets was shorter here's there was Mickey doing a bird cage that was his animation I wanted to make sure that I showcased that for you guys and there's a little seed right there wandering around and we actually got the third milestone reached already guys which is freaking sweet it's very, very, very sweet. So let's see if we get a new attraction from this. If we did, that'd be awesome. And we didn't. We didn't get any special chance, which kind of stinks. But you do see Percy here with his crab now. Um, his animation is kind of cute. And Beast here with his crab. So like I said, I wanted to get as many of the animations as I could. Beast could just scare the little crab away. Or maybe if he wanted to eat it, I don't know. But Sebastian would probably be triggered. Uh, here we have Rapunzel in her animation with the birdcage. The birdcage looks, looks like so sad. Like they're just trying to get out. Like I'm trying to help you guys, I promise. We are going to level up Wendy Darling here to level 7 already. Which is really awesome. Uh, we did reach the 4th mile milestone for the tapping event which means we got two of the comfy costume fabrics we reached milestone number one of what I want to say was the crabs I believe so we did get another beauty and the beast chest so let's see what we get hopefully it's something good I'll take a concession I'll take a costume I'll take a character uh, I really don't want a decoration but you know I, I don't have a choice fantasy well again really not even like the shrub or whatever okay we'll take you we kind of have to at this point we are welcoming Wendy back into the kingdom hi there Wendy thank you for leveling up Wendy is now level 7 we get three gems yes isn't this just the most wonderful adventure it really is though I will say Peter fan has been this struggle to get through <laughs> but of course as everybody knows it is like one of the if not the most challenging collection so we are leveling up Peter Pan here which is always awesome he's kind of a pain in the butt to collect for so I'm trying to level him up as often as I can Wendy and Peter and John eventually when we do welcome them all three of those will have priority for leveling up even though I'm not really leveling up anybody else now. but we do have Mickey here done with another birdcage so we are gonna send him right back on another one if we do have enough resources after we might put him on a 60 second nope we're not yeah I was about to say there's really no time my happiness ooh, was really dropping because of this event and because you have to have you know certain people doing the crabs or the birds or the well actually that's the only thing they had to do but you had to be careful not to put them on too long of a happiness quest Peter Pan is now level 5 this is almost better than the time I fought off all those pirates on Marooner's Rock you already said that Peter let's get some fresh dialogue up in there okay Thank you though, thank you for leveling up. Here we have Rapunzel done and we reached the first milestone for um, the bird cage, which is awesome. So let's see here, come on, something good. This is like the last free one. Okay, Beast Castle, I'll definitely take that. That was the last Beauty and the Beast legendary chest like from the milestones that I could open. So of course I was hoping for Belle to help me out with getting to the point where I could get the comfy costume, but at this point, even though I was happy to have Beast Castle, it felt like I wasn't going to get it. I barely went into my library when I was cursed. It reminded me too much of my old life. Now, though, Belle and I try to add books to it every time we find some. Oh, that's cute. That's sweet. I thought I'd organize some of the newer ones for her today as a surprise. A few books more. Why can't I? Oh, that was hard. I realize I have been using the term majordomo rather freely. Presuming you know the meaning of the word. I don't I don't even know how to say it simply put I am the master's chief steward Some would say butler, but I assure you there are very different animals That is to say I supervise the master's servants though uh, not the kitchen staff which would be mrs. Potts purview. Oh cool 
Hmm, perhaps it would be better if I simply showed you what I do. Yes, please do. I love getting more information. Good stewardship, side quests, and cogsworths to supervise. That's all I read. It's never a dull moment in the Master's Castle these days. With the grounds open to visitors again, we've had much more occasion to serve meals. Why, just today, the kitchen staff has been assembling an absolutely tremendous cream puff pyramid. Ten feet high it is. Wow. In fact, I was just about to go see how they were coming along. Sounds great. Yes, chef. Side quest. Send Mrs. Potts to Beast Castle to supervise. I want a 10-foot cream puff thing. Can I have that, please? Can you deliver some to me? But yes, I am buying some strings from Merlin's right now just because I know that I'm not going to have time for the 8-hour slash 4-hour quest to be done. I know I had a guest on on 4-hour, and I had, like, Daisy on 8, and I forget who else was on them, but there was a... I know I had three characters collecting one was daisy one was gaston and there's one more that i don't quite remember ham i think it was ham for eight hours too collecting that so yes and i'm not quite sure why i was using gems to skip this i think it was because i needed bags and we did reach the second milestone there which was a concession chest so let's see what we do get in our concession chest i'm crossing my fingers Manticore milkshake stamp. I was so freaking excited. You guys know I've been really, really fighting for an onward concession chest. Well, not fighting, but hoping for it. And we finally got one, the Manticore milkshake stamp, which is awesome. So now, of course, we are putting everybody back on their crabs. Percy, Goofy. I messed up a bunch of times with Beast on his. I would send him accidentally on a six, at five or six hour quest with Cogsworth instead of him doing his crowds, which is kind of annoying. You see, 50 hundred footmen, 20 footmen, 50 under footmen, 20 footmen, 40 under butlers, cleaning and polishing every surface in the master's castle in record time, all supervised by me. Sorry, I missed some words I can't read. That is the major domo's trade in a nutshell. Although, it now occurs to me that it may have been difficult to see me doing that from outside the castle. Yes, it was, and I didn't really see anything. We didn't really see anything. Quest complete. Good stewardship. Perhaps next time it might be pertinent to look in the windows? How am I supposed to do that in the game, Cogsworth? I don't know how to do that! Otherwise, I would. Well, it was a ten-foot-high cream puff pyramid for a moment, at least. Rather more like a very short pile now. I don't know what her accent is. The, ki the kitchen staff are all cursed again, poor dears. It's difficult to balance a dessert like that without any arms to do it. Quest complete. Yes, chef. Perhaps we should make a nice souffle instead. Whatever it is, I will be a taste tester if you want me to. It sounds amazing. I'm sure it smells amazing, too. Welcome, a middle child. Let's go check out John's progress. Two more umbrellas, guys. Two more umbrellas. I feel like nobody's dropping them at this point. I needed two more, and, like, nobody wanted to drop them. In about 45 minutes, we will get to 11 of the cages cleared. I'm in 13th place with 9. I don't know if I'm even going to get Pocahontas at this point. That's what's going through my head. I'm stressed out. But I'm not going to give up and just try my best and see how I do. If I don't get Pocahontas or her comfy, co comfy cozy costume, again, shout out to Kitty Cat, it's not the end of the world. And I'm in fifth right now for the tapper, which is great. And I did reach a milestone three for, I believe, the crab event. And I got a free 40 gems, which is going to come in handy, I'm sure, in case I need to use them for the Pocahontas event. Now, as you guys just saw with that little thing pop up, John Darling is going to be coming into our kingdom in eight hours. Not really eight hours, because the the power of editing but guys that's so freaking exciting that we have him coming into our kingdom i can't believe it i'm super duper excited i'm so excited i actually put this clip in twice here so no you're not seeing double or glitching i can't believe i did that i didn't mean to i believe this was um a milestone for the birds and cages so it's another attraction enchantment let's see if we get and we didn't unfortunately we did not get a new attraction which I really wanted but it looks like it's the beginning of a day so of course we are gonna touch that button and collect a bunch of magic you guys know this is so satisfying to me every morning and I also hear somebody getting welcome 16,000 magic and guys John darling is here please help me welcome him into the kingdom in the comments below he is the what second to last person we have to welcome good heavens I've never seen any place quite like this before in the Peter Pan collection 
nor read about it either, and I always pay attention to geography lessons. Just need Michael now! Quest complete. Welcome a middle child. How else will I learn to draw a proper treasure map? I don't know, John, but thank you so much for coming into my kingdom. Well, I may not know where I am, but I shall try to keep a stiff upper lip as I find out. You do that, you do that. Except while I'm calling out for Wendy, Michael, and Peter, of course. Unlike some plans, this one hardly calls for stealth. Yeah, go find them, go find Michael, please. Tally Ho, Kingdom Quest, send John to find his siblings. So we are gonna send him on that for 12 hours, you guys. Holy smokes, now this footage is actually from this morning, the day I'm filming this, so I'm trying to be as current as I can, even though these are a week late. I'm trying my best to close the gap at least a little bit. Now we see here, I'm gonna show you guys my progress. 21 out of 50, which isn't the best. I'm 13th on the leaderboard, which I don't really care about, but I'm really freaking out here. I don't think I'm gonna get the comfy cozy costume, but I'm trying my best, guys. Here with the Cursed Crabs, we do have 68 out of 90, which in my opinion is good. I know we're gonna get to the last milestone, which is awesome. Uh, we do need, we're, we don't need 68. We're in seventh place with 68, which is fine. That is fine by me. I don't really care about that leaderboard. And we are sixth in the Wandering Seeds with 1,861, which means that we are in a perfect spot, an okay spot to get that Earth Day stand. Now, of course, everybody is tapping every day, so of course I'll still keep tapping to stay there. But that is the end of this week's updates for Dizania Majaia Kingdoms. It has been a crazy week in my kingdom. Um, while I'm filming this, let me know down in the comments how your kingdom is doing, who are you welcoming, what are you working on, how much magic, how many gems, whatever you want to tell me. I love reading your guys' comments and I love interacting with you. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to join the Dizania Ajail Kingdoms family, make sure you hit that subscribe button and tap that notification bell so you know every time I post a new video. I will see you guys next week on Monday for a new update guys update number 50 speaking of 50 i did hit 50 subscribers um recently and i am so 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 thankful and grateful for everybody who has subscribed who has liked my videos who has commented who has just supported me just by just viewing thank you so much for supporting me um as i say in a couple other updates there's a lot of awesome channels that do comment on my videos pretty frequently down in the comments go check out their channels like their videos subscribes subscribes <laughs> subscribe to their channel they uh, a lot of them play dmk and play other cool games too so check those people out and i will see you guys on monday bye